This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. host of Rewritten. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that your week has been beautiful and if it's been challenging, I just feel like this quote is something I can hold on to that pain is inevitable but suffering is a choice and I just hope that if you have pain or obstacles or whatever it is that you know that it's used to teach you something, to grow, to expand your love, to help you with forgiveness and to deepen whatever it is, your faith, right? I just believe that life is happening for us and not to us, as difficult as it may be. And I have to keep reminding myself of that even when life gets challenging and hard. And I know seasons of life come and go, and I know that there's a lot of pain and loss in my future, right? But I've just got to cling to the hope of Jesus and cling to the thought that, I'm here to grow and deepen my love and faith. And so, friend, if you find yourself in just a hard season, I'm sending you love, but I'm also very grateful that you'd be tuning in to Rewritten. I think that it's inch by inch, my friend, and every inch matters in every personal development. Every time you read your Bible and open it, every time you move your body, it adds up. So thank you for tuning in. Rewritten is almost two years old and I just cannot even believe it. My heart is just forever grateful that you would tune in and listen and just apply it to your life. That's what I want and that's the win in this. And so I'm just excited for year three and what's to come. And today I want to talk to you about failure versus obstacles. So I do a lot of mentoring. That's what I do. And I coach women. I teach them how to build businesses with self-care. But more than anything, I feel like my number one goal is to help them get fit in every area of life while living more fulfilled. I really do believe that There isn't a balance in life, but there's, what did someone say? There's harmony. I want people to have more harmony in their life. And when I mentor, a big fear people have or people who want to do what I'm doing, people who want to be a part of my tribe, my crew, happy and fit, they're so afraid of failure. It cripples them. It makes them more uncertain. It creates anxiety and fear. And it prevents them from taking any type of action because they're so afraid of failure. And I'm hoping with this episode that this is something that speaks deeply to you, right? That you become more full in life through the action you take, the belief you create, than be so filled up with this non-existent thing called failure and fear that is have it's, it's holding you captive and it's not serving you in any kind of way. Failure is guaranteed when you completely quit and failure is completely guaranteed when you never try. So when you take quitting off the table and you choose to jump in anyway, it's do and then learn. You'll figure it out. But what I think people are really meaning by their failure, and I think that they've really got to change the verbiage in this, they're afraid they're not going to be perfect. Then once you realize you can't be perfect, then it lessens the load. Or maybe the failure is, I don't want to have hardship or obstacles. Well, here's the deal. Our growth happens during those challenging moments. My marriage is awesome and better because we've had challenging conversations and we became better because of it. 
my pain that I've experienced in my life, and that is something none of us can avoid, but you might as well be working on yourself and trying to live your best life as you continue on, right? You cannot avoid the pain in the seasons that are going to happen. There will be obstacles. There are obstacles, and you have survived 100% of them. Even if they've sucked your soul, created so much uncertainty, right? There was just massive unknowns. You figured it out. You didn't know how your heart could heal. You didn't know how your heart can expand. You didn't know if you could love again, but you're on your way because that's the beauty of life. It's not failure. It's this idea of perfectionism. Then you're letting yourself down. The only way to do it, and if you think it's with perfectionism, you're not going to do it. But if you know you're going to just try and you're going to just be better and get 1% better every single day and you have obstacles, but then you survive the obstacle, you learn from the obstacle, you move through the obstacle, you realize the obstacle wasn't even really an obstacle because there's bigger things that could happen in life. You start to change your mindset. You start to think the obstacles. You become better. And I feel like over the last six years, That's exactly how I've gotten to where I've gotten to because I've had so many obstacles happen, but I never considered it a failure. When my ideas flopped, when I missed goals, when I felt like I was going backwards, when I felt defeated, when life has been challenging and hard, when I feel like I was being tested in so many ways, when people were questioning my integrity or questioning just my motives or questioning what I was doing, putting me down, maybe supporting me and thinking I was cute for wanting to do whatever it is that I was going to do, but not thinking I could actually do it. I look back and I'm so grateful because those moments make me a better person because I have the armor that I've gotten through each obstacle. I've gotten better because of each obstacle and it allows me to have more empathy, more love, more compassion. It allows me to lead better, mentor better. It allows me to see the world so differently instead of just thinking with so many limitations. Failure versus obstacles. Failure doesn't exist unless you decide it does. I take quitting off the table and I do and then learn. So failure is not a fear. Failure is good when you realize that it's really actually obstacles and hardships that so many people want to avoid. Instead, they cling to complaining and they cling to excuses, which serves you none. That does not serve your life. It doesn't create a fulfilling life, a full life, a happy life. But when you take obstacles and you're like, my obstacle is following through. Instead of thinking about the 30 workouts you need to do, just think of the one. Then check that off. And then the next day, I need to get another one in. And the next thing you know, you've worked out for 21 days. And then you celebrate that. And then the view just keeps getting better. Failure versus obstacles. Obstacles are vital to your growth, and they're the thing that makes you better, but they don't destroy you, and they don't stop you. They only grow you. So when you can start to celebrate the obstacles of what can I learn from this instead of why me, what am I learning right now? How can I use this to make myself better? How can I become a better friend, a better spouse, a better mom, a better teacher, a better business owner? Because of this obstacle. How can I get better? How is this developing me? Then the load is lightened and it's not so scary. Friend, you can do anything and be anyone. And I hope this is your reminder that it's not failure. It's that I don't want to have the struggle. But the struggle happens to everybody, especially the what whoever you see to be the most successful person has probably had more struggles and obstacles than anyone else because they were willing to do it and they saw it in a different way. They knew that it would develop them and make them 
so much better. Thank you for letting Rewritten be your weekly listen. I appreciate it. If you could screenshot this, upload it, tag me at Julianne Condia at the Rewritten Society. If you could follow my profile and the Rewritten Society, that would be so great. We can stay in touch. I definitely want to hear how this episode spoke to you. Definitely share it with a friend and just know that I'm just sharing my experiences and what I've learned and I'm trying to apply it to help you realize that you have untapped, unlimited, insane potential and your dreams are valid and they're big and they're great and they're grand and doable inch by inch. Do and then learn. Until next time.